Hey folks, it's me, yes, and it is a Sunday, which seems to be the only day I seem to be able to get a chance to do any videos for you these days, uh, being that I work from Monday to Saturday. Um, and there's been a huge increase of interest and views in my channel recently, and I'd like to thank everybody that's recently subscribed or recently viewed the videos. Um, <clears throat> as well as my long-standing fabulous subscribers. I feel quite guilty a lot of the time that I'm not able to respond to very many of your comments on my channel simply because I am working so much. Um, and so today's video I'm going to try and address that. Additionally, I've got a quick studio update and also a Milton Guitars Prototype 3 update all coming up. Stay tuned. <music> So, yeah, as I said, I feel quite guilty about the fact that I can't really get on and, and reply to very many comments. So I thought what I'd do is I'd do a quick selection from the comments that are, have currently been published. So take you over there and we'll do that. Here we go. If this will work. Yes, looks like it will. So what we got? We've got um, just two hours ago. Hey, where did you buy this guitar? Thank you. And this is, uh, this is Tiger. Um, well, very simply, if you go to the China Guitar Skeptic website, anybody can find this information out by going on to my Chinese replica guitars. Um, that particular one's called Tiger, the orange PRS. And I'll tell you when I bought it, when I received it, who I bought it from and how much. So this was $249.30 ordered on the 8th of April 2003 from Wholesale Guitar Z Hang. Also tell you a bit about the issues and all that good stuff over on the China Guitar Skeptic website. Um, Jay is talking about the, the um, Taylor. Which sounds better out of the box, this or the replica D45? Um, I'm going to be really honest. The D45 wins hands down every single time. It's brilliant. Uh, these, uh, there's an unboxing of Mitzi there. Buy a couch next, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, John Mestus. And Bill Withers, not the Bill Withers, I'm sure, asked, how much did you pay? Well, again, we'll pop back to this and we can see Mitzi there. I paid $270 for Mitzi. Uh, and this one's about the, um, the original one. Um, uh, what, what do we call her? Huh? I've forgotten. Maggie, of course. How could I forget Maggie? Um, either you buy an authentic guitar or you build an authentic guitar yourself from quality parts. Don't finance the Chinese junk market. I couldn't agree more. Um, certainly with the fakes, I don't, uh, suggest that people buy the fakes at all. I don't vindicate anybody doing that. Uh, in fact, my whole channel premise is about not uh, supporting the fake trade. Uh, Blaine, you're a regular contributor. You've um, had a comment on the Let's Build a Studio 7, but at least you did the hard stuff. That's my builder who let me down. I don't know much about putting siding on a house or studio, but I've seen that some are more plug and play than others, e.g. vinyl versus shingles. Keep it going. I will do, mate. Thank you very much. And thanks again to everybody who's been so supportive over the studio and the builder letting me down. I'm enjoying doing the work. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, this was my um, video about, um, with, if you don't like what I say, then uh, please don't uh, comment, just move on. Um, really appreciate that. Thanks, Not Purple. Thanks for the update and the candor. I'm always candid. The one thing you will always get from China Guitar Skeptic is openness and honesty in all things. Uh, another build, build studio, build seven. Wow, it's going to be amazing. You'll get more satisfaction. You completed it more personal. Yes, indeed. That's how I feel about it. Um, in the, uh, Gibson Lawyers video. What brand telly is that? It's gorgeous. Well, that is the, uh, Milton MT1 prototype two, the blue one and uh they're, they're that's the brand it's my own it's the one that i'm trying to use to give you an alternative to the fake guitars over in china luke wanted uh, to ask thank you for taking time to tune it oh this is about the k24 yeah uh, unfortunately all these chinese guitars come with terrible strings and so because i do my demos straight out of the box they're going out of tune like crazy whether i stretch the strings or not i do try to to get them in tune but uh He's saying, truth be told, I can't tell the difference in tone between this guitar and a Taylor. Taylors all sound the same to me. Ooh, controversial. They're lovely guitars and easy to play, though. And this is lovely and easy to play. Um, sorry to hear about the problems with the studio, Doug. Yeah, thanks for that, mate. Um, yeah, and you're right, absolutely. You do need to make sure that you you give them absolutely all the detailed specs before you start, which is exactly what I did for my builder. I gave him uh, plans, drawings, sketches, 
specifications and it still went uh south so never mind one of those things uh i'd love to see a 335 i'm afraid richard the decision is made it's going to be the explorer uh by far the most popular choice uh, i i'm afraid to tell you uh, but i might buy a 335 next we'll see uh who sells chipsons anyone have any idea whether any of these sellers will do colors other than what they list yeah absolutely any seller or oh, this guy wants a mexican level strap with the metallic orange that was only offered on the 2014 fender bullets the sellers will make whatever you ask them to do at a price and for an extra premium of time takes a bit longer costs a bit more but they will do it uh, and if you're going to go down that route please think about not having the um, logos put on have your own and then it makes it much more personal and bespoke. Uh, the ha Harley Benton HB35, take the pickguard up, don't fill the holes, you can replace the pickguard. Well, exactly what I did, but I stick the screws to the pickguard into the holes. Anyway, that one, Harley Benton, wow, terrible, terrible pickguard on that, awfully cut. That's now over in New Zealand though, with my buddy Pete. So that guitar, actually, I think I've still got the pickguard here. <laughs> Anyway, there we go. It looks beautiful. I have three semi-hollow, a red PV, JF1, an Epiphone Sunburst dot, and an Ibanez AS93 in blue. Lovely. Lucky man, Jerry. And uh, please enjoy playing those. And send me some pictures. I'll review them. Uh, Final Fantasy says of... Um, Tiger, you're doing everything to make it sound bad, lol. Yeah, no, I'm not. Of course I'm not. I'm just a warts and all honest about how they feel and look and sound and how they're set up as they come out of the box. And although Tiger is one of my favourites now, she came set up really, really badly. Uh, we've got a bit of a conversation here on the Ultimate Fake Les Paul uh, about where um, Orange were in Denmark Street. They were down there somewhere, Tim Pan Alley sort of region. Um, and they were, now it's a alleyway down the side of Macari's present location orange would have been just the other side of where the Spanish restaurant is uh yeah I think so um I haven't been to London for so long the last time I was in Denmark Street was about 18 months ago I need to get up there again um one another one on the studio build I enjoy the videos and stories and stuff but really thought I'd try out of a Gibson like right okay I think this is one of my foreign um subscribers and looks like you're going to buy a Les Paul. I wish you well. I hope you're not going to get the uh, the logo on it. I hope you're going to get your own put on it, but we'll see. Uh, Chipson. What do we got here? This is on the Chipson. Some great tips. Just ordered my first one. I'm expecting any day. Good luck with that. Joseph Costelli. I hope it's a good one for you. Um, Steve O Evil One says, um, best of, great choice. I have an orange CR 120. Oh, yes. This was the, um, the orange, uh, tiny terror, which I absolutely adore. Um, and he's thinking to get in a two for 12 cab. Yeah. I hope you, uh, do because they're really good. Those vintage ones, you can't get better value than the Harley Benton with the two vintage thirties in it. They're really fantastic. If you're looking for an Explorer, this is Andy Edwards. Uh, it's got to be a Ken Lawrence Explorer built for James Hetfield. Funny enough, that's the decision I've just made. So you're going to be happy, Andy. Crazy Uncle Duke. Hey, crazy. Looks like an, nice but loses structural integrity when the drywall is run straight up and down person in the eye would fire your contractor well didn't need to fire him he's gone and in terms of the drywall actually in this instance it's better that it runs straight up and down because the osb board on the outside is running left to right so the two of those going in different planes gives it additional uh, structural integrity not less so that's why it's been done that way in this instance uh, james mcdonald says nothing like sweet equity plus all that plastering give you extra hand strength for playing guess i'm a glass half full kind of guy great job cheers from boston <clears throat> uh, another one asking how much um, mitzi was well we've already done that mitzi was 270 dollars um where did you buy this guitar from? Exact guitar from? Well, there you go. Wholesale Guitar Z. Hang on AliExpress. Um, buddy was selling a counterfeit. Which, oh, right. Okay. This was the busted for selling a fake Les Paul. Yes, the guy was selling it and he shouldn't have been. And at the end of the day, it's perfectly legal to buy and own counterfeit um, products in the UK and US at least, but it is entirely illegal to sell them. Uh, there is no question about either of those comments i've done that to death so i'm not going to go there again mark randall says about the uh work need to doing on the uh the the k24 that the peg holes yes i can show you this actually let me go and get it it's right here okay i'll switch back to the other view for a moment but you will notice 
on the K24. There we go. Right here, there was a peg hole that was filled and, yep, clearly a piece of rubbish um, on the build side. So, when I say... Sorry, when I say a piece of rubbish, it wasn't a piece of rubbish once I'd done some work with it, but it was not in a good state. It had terrible marks on the uh, on the fingerboard and clearly it had been improperly drilled for the for the peg heads so that's the way uh, sorry the the um the bridge pegs uh what else do you say that how the file the, the blah, that filed holding the bridge is really visible yeah yeah it is really visible and it looks awful and you do get what you pay for totally um best kept secret are you interested in selling your d45 no i'm afraid not can't sell it even if i wanted to which i don't it's illegal and then Tommy Thomas says, I bust that builder's head for leaving my place in the mess like that, but you have it looking good now. I do, hopefully, and uh, hopefully there'll be more another video from that soon. Uh, all hail chips, and yes, thank you, Vladimir. Um, Alan Stokes, looking awesome. Thanks to you. It's a shame about the contractor, though. This happens way too often. They take on much too much work, and the customer suffers. Come down to greed in the end. Lucky thing is they bailed out at a stage where you can finish the job yourself, which is what I'm trying to do at this point in time. Um... Dale, hey Dale, how you doing? Um, very often contributes to my channel and a regular subscriber. Thanks, buddy. Uh, sorry to hear about the situation. It looks like you're doing a great job. Hang in there and be proud of what you're accomplishing. I am indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, Phil James says you're doing a great job. Another regular of mine. Hi, Phil. Uh, you're doing a great job of rescuing the project, my friend. It's just so sad you had to. Unfortunately, there's several vocations that get bad press in this country of ours. Yes, in the UK. Phil's in the UK as well. The, tra the building trade being one, they didn't earn this reputation overnight and for no reason. Sadly, it seems you've been another of their many victims. I hope the amount you paid him to date equates to the level of the work completed and you were not shortchanged. No, I've not been. I paid him for what he'd done and he just wasn't prepared to do any more. Best of luck with the remainder of the work. Power to your elbow. Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate that. And so do I. All the other very kind comments that I've had supporting me. David Brady about the d45 personally i'd be happy enough to own a fake martin with a bone nut and saddle it would sound even better i couldn't agree more actually that might be another little project to do on that guitar while i've got the strings off let's have a think about that uh jeffrey stanfield on the orange and the harley benton cab i'm torn between the explorer and 335 so i say explorer then a 335 funny enough that's exactly what i've decided um i'm awaiting a personal logo knockoff from china excellent so pleased you're getting your own personalized logo jeffrey and i'd really like to see that um send me a copy and still want to purchase a milton telly when you get the builder squared away well i'll uh, certainly let everybody know as soon as i do and please send me some pictures of your uh your Les Paul with your personal logo on and I'll share those. Love the videos you've been producing. The studio looks very nice and coming along great. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Really appreciate that. Um, Zero says, so why do you have to bargain over the refund? You should get it returned and they should pay for the guitar and shipping. Seems very hit and miss when it comes to buying Chinese guitars. It certainly is Zero. I would only buy one and one only if I was in China and I could watch it being made. Well, that's probably the best way to buy one, actually, to be fair, but not many of us can afford to pop over there and watch it being made. Um, but Yes, they are hit and miss, and thank you for bringing that point to the uh, to everybody's attention there. Uh, Fat Boz, hi mate, when buying Chinese guitars, do you tell them what you want or do you just go by what's on the site? You can do either. There's a list of stuff that you can buy or you can specify for yourself. The more you specify, the more time it takes and the more it costs, but ha, it's sometimes worth it and certainly I would advocate it to get uh, all the trademark infringing logos and shapes and all of that taken off and have your own put on. Personalise it. Uh, Steve Elling, you're a regular Bob the Builder? Yes, thank you very much. I need the hard hat. <laughs> uh, Navahon55, great job. May I suggest wet standing so dry? Now, I was really interested in this comment. I wanted to find time to respond. And it sounds like a really good idea because it would reactivate the plaster because the, the water would actually reactivate that and might actually make it a smoother finish. I'll look into that a bit further, but thanks for the suggestion. Dallas Langdon says, I know this is probably the wrong video to comment on, but I'm interested in buying a Chinese Gibson. Now, I do not want to change the headstock. What are the chances of it being taken in customs? I live in New York. I would say 50-50, uh, Dallas. In fact, possibly worse than that, because 
there's been this you could look back on my videos there was one about the confiscations and there's been plenty of news about the confiscations across the guitar community and new york seems to be a hub for u.s customs to try and pull these things out of circulation before they get there so very high chance uh my response to everybody thanking them for the support um the strat build i always feel guilty about the strato cast to build um so sorry that I've just not got the space or the time uh, to, to be finishing that at the moment, but I will get round to it. My strap plus has that little hole. It's called a micro tilt. Very handy, actually. Could save you a lot of grief when trying to get that neck just right. Nice build. Unfortunately, I put my own nameplate on the back of the, um, on the, uh, on the neck plate. And so I don't have that little hole. So I'm going to have to shim that neck to get it right. But that's going to be another video. Jake Schofield, another one of my regulars. Hey, how you doing? Great music to drywall too. That's one of the ones I did for um, Lance Moss TV. It was a Burnside uh, tribute and I just mocked it up really quickly while I was on a live chat with him. And I use it because it's mine and uh, it's just a riff around a, a riff. So royalty free. So I use it on quite a bit of stuff. It's a nice little piece. Uh, Who's this Padraig Floyd? Padraig Floyd. Just goes to show you, you should never use friends for projects unless you're prepared to lose that friendship. Very, very true. I'm not going to lose the friendship over it, but um, we, we weren't that close, but um just a bit upset. We'll get over it. I don't blame him. He's got a lot on his plate. Well, I do blame him, but he's got a lot on his plate, so I forgive him. And actually, forgiveness is far more important than losing friendships. Uh, Gil Lamb, another regular. Hi, Gil. It looks like you know what you're doing. Thank goodness you can do it yourself and don't have to rely on somebody else to finish the job. Looking forward to the end result. Cheers. Thank you, buddy. So am I. Jefferson Einstein. Um, well, I didn't see that coming at all. What a shame. Good news, though, is even if you don't have time for it, it will be a rewarding thing to do when you finished it yourself it's going to be a great space when it's ready thank you really appreciate that yes it's going to be difficult time wise but i am plugging away and i've found the odd hour here and there to go uh, out and uh, and do some work in there anthony christopher and another one of my regulars hi anthony and i've responded to you because it's the first time in ages that i found the reply button on one of your comments normally it's disabled so um yeah, you waited for me to finish your studio. <laughs> I'd like to come over and help you with that. Um, be nice to catch up with you, buddy. Uh, Reverend Bubba, no electricity in there. Didn't see any outlets, switches or lights. Well, they're all behind the plasterboard, which is absolutely perfectly normal. The first fix is all in. And when the walls are painted and the outside is clad, then they'll come back and cut the boxes and the light fixtures. And then they'll all be connected up and the mains connected last, which is pretty much the standard way of doing it over here. Uh, Wicked Festa, unfortunate, but you're doing a great job. Yes, it was unfortunate about the builder. Thank you. I'm doing my very best. Daniel G. Frost, nice video. The builder seems to have done a decent job. Have you got the electronics wiring done? Just to reply to that one. So yes, I have. Mm, I like this one. This is quite funny. It's about the um, ultimate fake Les Paul that we found online. And the, this conversation made me laugh when it came in. Mm, this is clearly a Chinese fake. What a piece of crap. This is not a Chinese fake. It's an old Gibson Les Paul. It's just been made into a fake 59. LOL. It's a fake, you fool. Look at the body shape, particularly the horn. It's not even remotely close to a Gibson. LOL. Uh, it's exactly the same shape. Obviously, you know nothing about Les Pauls. LOL. Yeah, I know nothing about Les Pauls. I just own 20 of them. LOL. No, I'm not actually. LOL. Man. I didn't want to get involved in that. Very funny. Craig, hey, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Craig is a, another regular of mine, and I did the Parsec guitar demo, or not demo, I showed it on the channel. Uh, one of the first people to follow my advice and get his own logo on the headstock. So, very good fella indeed. Uh, your first video from inside your new studio? Yes, it was only afterwards that I realised it was. But there's going to be plenty more coming from there, and it was nice. Thanks very much for noticing. James Mears says it's looking good. Thanks, buddy. Uh, keep positive outlook. This is Gib Finez. Uh, the space will be clearly amazing once you are through. Looks like you have good technique for plaster and painting. Oh, thank you. So painting should be a breeze. I do like, uh, do my, I like to do my own because it takes you time to make it perfect and satisfaction of knowing it in the end. Um, and hopefully you save a few pounds or knock off the inconvenience. Well, I, he's not been paid for doing that anyway. So, um, it's just a saving and I'm doing my best. And you're right. It gives you time to get it exactly how you want it. And yeah, doing your own quality control. Dave O'Cunningham, good luck. At least you'll have more pride in the fact that you have been working out on yourself and the reward when it's finished. Look forward to seeing it. Thank you, Mr. Chai Skip. Really appreciate that. 
Terry Tickler, nice one. Cheers, buddy. Caitlin Martin first. And in this instance, it was one of the first. In fact, it was the first. Uh, and final few. Uh, I was impressed with the sound of this guitar, the D45. I wish they put better stuff on it. Yep. Yeah. Well, the hardware is always quite cheap and nasty. Uh, but it does the job and it works. Um, and yeah, I just wish I hadn't got the logo on that one. And then finally, looks like you did, uh, do you need planning permission? Might just have to <laughs> go to please. Might have a go just to please the wife. Well, anything that pleases the wife has got to be good. And I've replied to this. I did check out the planning portal. This is under permitted development in terms of the size and particularly the height when it's within uh, two metres of the boundary. Uh, it complies with the two and a half metre restriction by UK planning. And I also sent a copy of my plans to the planning department just to be on the safe side. So, yeah, all good. Um, and that concludes my little... Uh, my little response to your comments. Oh, I've had another one come in. I won't click up on it just in case it's rude. And as you all know, I don't include rude comments on my channel, folks. So the studio yeah it was um it was lucky actually because yesterday i put the waterproof membrane wrap on the outside i stapled that to it uh unfortunately i started it the night before in the dark so the it's not quite perfect but then it's my first go so there we are but last night we had a humongous storm um gusts up to 85 miles an hour in the south of the uk here and uh, it survived and just one little staple corner pulled out and a bit flapping around that I've been able to put back together today. It made a right mess of my garden. Have a look. But as you can see, the wrap stayed on and all was well in the garden. Um, so I'm getting on with the studio. I've just rubbing down the, um, the taping and jointing inside. And then I hope to bring you some sort of video of the paint job and the cladding, of course. Uh, however, that's going to have to wait a little while uh, because I have a couple of other things coming up that's going to take my time on videos and the first being that the Milton prototype number three is en route from China and I will show you that now. There we go. 15th it was posted and left the dispatch centre on the 16th which worries me because that's been four days now. This is the 20th. Um, anyway, I'll be back really soon with D45 video and the Explorer order. In the meantime, folks, thanks as always for watching and subscribing. Give me a like and um, I look forward to coming back and seeing you in the next one.